Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the next topic in chapter 4 that is permeability of soils and seepage analysis. Coming to the next topic, it deals with the surface tension with capillary rise in small diameter tubes. <music> What do you mean by capillary rise in small diameter tubes? Generally, the water rises in very small diameters like capillary tubes because of the reason of adhesion and cohesion. What do you mean by adhesion? It occurs between water which adheres or stick to the solid walls of the tube. These are the solid walls of the tube. And what about cohesion? It is due to the mutual attraction of water molecules. So, if the effect of cohesion is less significant than the effect of adhesion, then that liquid wet the surface and the liquid will raise at the point of the contact. However, if the effect of cohesion is more predominant than adhesion, then the liquid rays will be depressed at the point of the contact, as in the case of mercury. Mercury is the best example for this. See, this is how it looks. This is nothing but a capillary rise. So, if we consider theta as the angle of contact between the water and the wall of the tube. See, this is the angle theta. If we consider between the wall and the tube. What is Fu? It is upward pull which is due to the surface tension. It is taken as Ts cos theta into pi d. So, what is Ts? Ts is nothing but the surface tension. D is the diameter of the tube. So, what is Fd? It is nothing but the downward force which is due to the mass of the water. How it is calculated? Gamma W into area pi by 4 d square into height He. That is nothing but the force due to mass. So, what is He? He is nothing but the height of the capillary rise. After simplification, we get He is equal to 40 years cos theta by gamma d. It can also be written as 40 years cos theta by g rho w d because gamma w is also be written as g into rho w. So, for a clear glass tube and the pure water, this meniscus is also approximately equal to uh, hemisphere that is nothing but in theta is equal to 0. So, this will reduce to the h is equal to 40 years by gamma w t because cos theta is 1. So, taking Ts is equal to 0 0.73 Newton per meter, this is a regular value that is surface tension and gamma W 9810 Newton per meter cube. After substitution, we get H is equal to 0 0.3 by D. This is in centimeter. Thank you.